Yo, what's up everybody? We are on Quinway Walking Street and this video today is gonna be Vietnam is gonna be a juggernaut, a powerhouse in the industrial and manufacturing in the upcoming years. They're gonna go from middle to high. And in this video, we're gonna talk all about that and the reasons why I think that and why most likely that will become the narrative. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. Uh, of course, I just said we're on Huynh Way Walking Street, my favorite place to record information topic videos because the content's great here. So let me flip the gimbal around. All right, so let's jump into it. First things first, China is forever gonna be tainted from, from the CCP virus. It's as simple as that and manufacturing is going to move away from there. Uh, I'll give you a prime example. Apple makes all their AirPods in Vietnam now. And they did that rather quickly. Samsung, building factories here to do manufacturing here. Lots of companies are now choosing Vietnam over China. I'll give you a reason why I really don't like Apple either and why I don't support their products, why I don't use any of their products, why I don't buy any of their stuff why I absolutely shit on them is now their stuff is unfixable. Um, if you need to fix your iPhone, pretty much Apple's got to do it now, especially with the new ones. Uh, the laptops, same, everything, you know, Apple isn't this glory company that you, you think it is. They're, they're looking to make more money. They're not looking out for you. They're not looking to make a better product for you. They're looking to make as much money as possible. And yeah, right now in China, they're lobbying they're paying to to get a bill not passed that is against like it's a labor a labor bill essentially that's pretty much gets rid of a crazy work environment like working someone 80 hours a week in like a labor camp essentially to get like an iphone bill so actively right now apple is literally trying to kill this this law that that's getting passed so apple isn't your buddy Apple isn't a good company. Since Steve Jobs died, nope, no thanks. I want nothing to do with it. Their current CEO, Cook, is literally just a businessman. Doesn't know shit about technology. He knows how to make more money. So, you know, I came to this realization, when did I stop using Apple? I think the 4S. Yeah, I stopped at the 4S when HTC came out with their amazing Android phone pretty much which was an Apple killer at the time. I mean, now HTC is shit, but at that time, that HTC phone was amazing. And I actually received it from a client. Um, yeah, I used to do really high-end IT work for like CEOs and super, super rich people in LA. So I was doing IT work for uh, this really awesome guy. Still, you know, he's one of my clients still, even remotely, if you need something. He was the uh, CEO at, uh, wh which game company was it? Whatever the Call of Duty game company was. Whoever makes Call of Duty. Anyways, I'm digressing, but he gave me a, an HTC, that HTC One, I wanna say it was, uh, for Christmas that year. I don't even know how long ago this is now, shit. Five, six, seven years ago, who knows? But you know, I, I became uh, not happy with Apple as they started shifting more and more towards non-repairability. Uh, if you take it in and, it, and it's got enough problems, they just tell you to buy a new one. They keep you hooked into their product. And they're still currently like the Gucci of phones. So it looks cool and it looks like you're of importance if you have the newest iPhone. So that's what really drives the market. Yeah, they're, they're UE, their, their interface is pretty easy to use and it's pretty much like how a mind works, but yeah, I don't want to give Apple any money. So again, I'm digressing on what we're talking about, but I think in the years to come, you're going to see massive companies, all kinds moving here for manufacturing. While this country may be like a C word, it's nothing like how the CCP is. They don't control any media here. They don't monitor the, the internet. You're free to say what you want unless you make a big stink against the, the government here. And it has to be crazy. You have to be like, you know, plotting to take over the government before you get in trouble. It's not anything like how 
the CCP is in China. So when people try to compare it, they're, you've either never lived in Vietnam, which is mostly of the dumb comments I get on my channel when they make some kind of comment. You've never even been here and you've never even lived here, but yet you have these amazing uh, views and epic knowledge about Vietnam. Come, get, get the fuck out of here. That's really just okay, whatever. So I think you're gonna just see a rapid explosion in growth here, you know, as these companies like Samsung and, and Apple start to produce their goods here, you're gonna see a major explosion there. And you know, as this subway line comes in, as it, you know, the Hanoi one's gonna be up first, but once the subway line is, is here, the, the number one line, and then they finish the whole subway by like 2024, I think they're, they're saying, this place is gonna be insane. It's, it's not going to be a Singapore, and that is truly who Saigon looks up to. They, they really like Singapore. Um, usually, if a student can afford to go and learn abroad, they go to Singapore. That's where Winnie went. So, like, when you guys shat on Winnie, saying that she loved Ho Chi Minh, and said that she's never been outside of the country, she lived in Singapore for two years. She has a mind of her own. Your typical Saigonese likes Ho Chi Minh. Sure, I mean, it's C-word. We, we all don't like C-word. But like, let a person think what they wanna think. So, I, I just think that there's gonna be so much opportunity here and you're gonna see an explosion of growth and wealth in the years to come and manufacturing is just gonna come over here. They're gonna build shit here. They're gonna do steel here. They're gonna build products here. Yeah, every company that's big in the electronic game is gonna be manufacturing shit here. I can almost guarantee you that. Because they can do it cheaper than in China and they don't have the crazy CCP to deal with. They can do it with more freedom here. And you don't have to have a sweat camp to make it a, a phone here, you know? You can pay a, a okay wage and the person will work a regular work hour a week manufacturing that good. So I think the industrial market and the manufacturing market is just poised for explosion here. Absolutely just poised for explosion. And I'm happy, you know, uh, to see that. Vietnam's a great place to be. Like, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world right now during this pandemic at all. I already shot a video yesterday of how it is to live through the pandemic here. And I'm pretty sure you guys are really gonna like that video. It's really good. Um, I have so many videos in the queue right now, about 20, so. This might not be heard for a week or two, but I've gotten to this groove where I shoot every single day. I shoot two to three videos a day. Uh, sometimes I shoot four or five and two of them don't make it after I, I rewatch it. Um, not everything makes it onto YouTube. If, if it's not good enough, it's not gonna happen. So, what else can I say about the manufacturing? So yeah, I've listed a company. I think LG is, is talking about setting up a uh, manufacturing plant here as well for TVs uh, another company was also another big big top tier company was also discussing I think Lenovo was discussing making some things here I also think AMD was also discussing opening a plant here to build things so the more and more they come and it's more incentive to build here it's better to build here um, the more we can negate the CCP as I said in, in the uh, my video of the CCP virus update is it, China, the CCP is our biggest enemy worldwide from everywhere. It's not Russia. Sure, Russia's a problem, but it ain't as big as a problem as, as CCP China. You know, you got to understand that in China, you, you got no YouTube. You got no access to free speech. You got no access to say anything, really. It, everything that they do let you use social media wise goes directly through the government. It's com extremely controlled, extremely clamped down on, and monitored heavily. Um, and then since they have no access to these things, and then they're taught in school that all these crazy stories they make up and shit. I mean, if you really wanna go down this rabbit hole on why China sucks, Serpentens has got you 100%. Winston has the knowledge on this shit. He is the man when it comes to real China shit. Uh, China Uncovered also does a good job, Uncensored. 
maybe. That guy does a really good job as well. But yeah, I would, if you, if you want to way go down the, the China rabbit hole and see why they're so, such a threat to everyone, I highly recommend you go to Serpentenza's channel, watch his shit. If you do go over there and watch his shit, leave a comment, tell him Fat and Broke sent you. Wouldn't mind that at all. He has full knowledge on all this stuff. So I, I just think Vietnam is super poised to become a super powerhouse really quickly in Southeast Asia. I mean, above like a Thailand, above a, a lot of the surrounding Cambodia, all this stuff. So we'll see as it progresses and as more things come out, I will of course report on it like I always do because I am here to bring you all information on Vietnam and life and things like that. So I'm sure I missed some stuff. If I missed any companies that you guys know of that are bringing manufacturing here or statistics, kindly leave them in the comments and yeah, we'll go from there. I appreciate you guys watching as ever. Have a good day. See you on the next one and peace out.